The hashtag Lagos Unrest has many threads on all social media platforms in Nigeria. Many people, especially Lagosians, took their social media handles, trending numerous videos of Nigerian youths threatening their lives and coveting their properties. Some say it's a result of joblessness due to the global pandemic striking all nooks and cranes of the world, resulting to hunger and famine in the states. Lagos, Nigeria is not exempted as some teenage boys have risen to a tune of robbery and house to house killings. Just precisely how the man filled with the grace of prophecy through God, our Creator, Apostle Siddiq X. Moses, the General Overseer of Christ's Holy Mountain House of Prayer. He stated on the 31st of January that the rich people should be responsible for the young lads in Nigeria, as he sees many of them going astray and indulging in robbery and killings of innocent people all for nothing. Here are his words. Nigerians should tighten their security. I'm seeing some new generation of robbers coming. I'm robbers. That kind of affliction should not rise in this country anymore. Please. It's very, very important. And uh, what God said, I should tell Nigerians, those of you with private business, employ youths from the street eh? those of you with construction company factories please i see a spirit entering some idol or idol eh? i say idol man is what devil what workshop <coughs> please this should not happen because i'm seeing in march people will start crying that will be broke, breaking homes, kill families. How much they collect? No money. But families are gone. They want us to pray now. May God give them job. Amen. Any room that will create robbery by the blood of Jesus will close that rooms. These are petty prophecy. You look at them like small, small. The kind of robbery I'm talking about, may Nigeria not experience it. Too. I carry the nail they use for Jesus on the hand of Jesus. I piercing it to the ground. Any spirit of robber that want to come into your house, may the same nail be piercing into their head. In the name of Jesus, may they become drunk by a strange wind from God. And begin to sleep anyhow at the hour of robbery the wind will come upon them they will start sleeping and they will sleep two days they will not wake up not until god has finished the oppression in their body in the name of jesus from some part of Lagos State on Monday afternoon. We are in panic as news fueled tied in that suspected members of a criminal group named One Million Boy at stormed over a Shoki community. Just as the group had created tension around Lagos State, market women raised the alarm that some hoodlums had buckled their shops and went away with bills of clothes and cash amid the coronavirus-induced lockdown. In response to the development, residents of Oboronshoki, young men have come out in large number with weapons to protect lives and properties in the area. Nigeria should tighten their security. I'm seeing some new generation of robbers coming. I'm robbers. That kind of affliction should not rise in this country anymore. Please, it's very, very important. And uh, what God said, I should tell Nigerians, those of you with private business, employ youths from the street. Eh? Those of you with construction company, factories, please. I say idle man is what? Devil what? Workshop. This should not happen because I'm saying in March, people will start crying. They'll be broke, breaking homes, kill families. How much they collect? No money. But families are gone. May God give them job.
the kind of robbery I'm talking about, may Nigeria not experience it. I carry the nail they use for Jesus on the hand of Jesus. I piercing it to the ground. Any spirit of robber that want to come into your house, may the same nail be piercing into their head. In the name of Jesus, may that become drunk by a strange wind from God and begin to sleep anyhow. At the hour of robbery, the wind will come upon them. They will start sleeping and they will sleep two days. They will not wake up not until God has finished the oppression in their body. In the name of Jesus.